I am super annoyed with myself. Welcome you guys, welcome back to my channel, Dane and Creates. I think I forget to say that like 99.9% .9 of the time. That's the name of my channel and I just want it to feel like you're just starting out joining our day instead of like the whole spiel, subscribe and click on the bell and this is my channel name. I just want you to feel like you're just gradually coming into our day. But anyway, so, and I don't even like to use the word vlog, like welcome to the vlog. I just like to say welcome to our day. Anyway, I'm so annoyed with myself. Do you guys ever get annoyed with yourself, especially as moms? Like you get your, you have your game together and I, I have my schedule set and I have my alarms on and I know what I'm supposed to do. <laughs> I literally have been parked here at my desk all morning doing conference calls for my daughters. My two younger ones in elementary school have their teacher conferences and we're doing it virtually on the computer, which is great. I did Chelsea's conference call. So she did student run conferences. So she was in charge of her conference call with her teacher. And it's actually a substitute teacher because her teacher just had a baby a couple weeks ago. So it's all kind of interesting, but Chelsea did a really good job on her conference. Then I had about an hour and 15 minutes until Ashley's conference call. So I worked for another an hour or so and then I stepped away from my desk I'm not even kidding you for like 10 minutes to go and help Ashley pack a little snack lunch type thing to put into a cinch bag to take with her as she walks around the neighborhood it's beautiful outside it's sunny I don't know if you can, yeah you can tell there's a lot of sunlight out there and they just have a free day off of school to play with their friends all their friends are gonna be home today and just that 10 minutes of stepping away from my desk unclicked my mind from what I was doing and I just completely blanked on the rest of my schedule and so I sat down at the desk again I came back in here after they left and I just continued what I was doing and then all of a sudden I was like I'm supposed to be doing something 40 minutes after the call 40 minutes after I was supposed to be on. And I feel like I'm in trouble with the teacher. Like I've emailed the teacher and I'm like, I'm so sorry, I can't believe I missed it with you. Cause she sent an email, hey, in case you don't have the link, I'll be here for another half hour <laughs> waiting for you, wasting my time. And now I'm like just scrolling, like waiting for her to reply back to me to reschedule. Cause I just feel so bad for wasting her time. I mean, she's at home so she could probably like leave the computer turned on and step away for a second you know but I'm still wasting her time and it's like time is like my thing I'm on time I show up early I don't waste people's time I get annoyed when people do this to me so annoyed with myself right now I guess it's kind of a I don't know like it's a good thing that I have you know extra time and I can just tell her I can schedule this appointment anytime she's ready because I've done all my dishes I've done all my laundry I've done all my chores the kitchen is clean the living room is clean and I literally have no videos to edit like nothing I have nothing left to do I should start working on our end of year like year in review do we really want to review 2020 I was thinking about that in bed last night do we really want to review this year do we really want to rehash it <laughs> I don't know I don't know that I want to so I think I'm gonna like sit down and hang out on the couch with Netflix or something because it is uh, 12 o'clock and I got nothing to do. Got nothing to do. I think Kaylee wanted to go to Target with Evelyn, her friend, um, but I don't know when they're gonna go. It's been getting ready for an hour. Teenager life for you. They're done with classes today as well. They just have one class in the mornings on Wednesday, or at least Abby has half day on Wednesday or half day on Friday. Shortened classes. I think she said her classes are only 25 minutes long on Friday. It's like a weird week. And then we only have like two weeks after that until we're on winter Christmas break. It's kind of nice to like sit and relax because I have, what do I have today? I'll take Kaylee to Target, probably grab a few things. I have my advent calendar and the kids have all informed me that I haven't put candy in it. I know I no longer worry about telling them that Santa needs to put candy or the elves need to put candy in it. I'm like, I, I put the candy in it, but uh, I haven't put the candy in it. So I need to get some Hershey kisses or something for them. I have a drive-by activity for church tonight. I think they're just giving us a gift or something and then like some hot chocolate. I don't even know. And then I have to rush back home tonight to get onto our uh, book club zoom we're gonna do our book exchange oh, I need to get a book that is like the number one thing I need to go and do because we're doing a book exchange that we do every year and then our book voting for our book picks 
for next year. And we'll have a list of what we're gonna read it for every month. I need to go pick a book. Hey Kaylee, are you ready to go to Target? Target does not have the best book sele selection. I've already looked at Costco for books. Do you, are you ready to go to Target anytime soon? I might need to leave and then come back and get you. Why? I need to go find a book. Can she be ready sooner or are you just not wanting to get ready? I, I'm getting ready right now. I just don't want to. She's not going to. She's not a morning person. So. It's noon. Yeah. Okay. So are you. But I'm not like. I uh, you know. Go get ready. All right, I'll come, probably come back and get you. So normally with our book exchange, oh, this is a horrible light. Let me switch. And come over to a comfier place. Better lighting. Then you can see my stockings. That's a good, that's good. I should just redo that whole clip. <laughs> this um, be where I film from. So normally we do like a white elephant gift exchange for this book club. And we just, everyone brings a book. We don't like make it a white elephant gift. It's an actual book that we want to read, whether it's one that you suggest for the next year or just a good one that you've heard of and wrap them up and put them in the pile and then everyone draws numbers and, and then you play it like white elephant where everyone unwraps a gift and then you can steal the book and you, then you have to get a new one from the pile and the books can get stolen twice and then at the end the last book you know the last person to go gets to choose from all the books and steal something but how do you do that virtually so we've been trying to figure out how to do that and my friend just she what we were all going to drop off books to one location and have one person open them all up and we're like that's just dumb so we're all just going to wrap up our own present <laughs> and then give ourselves a number we'll just go through the numbers and we'll do the same thing just virtually and we'll unwrap a gift if someone chooses our gift i'll unwrap it for them and they can see the book and then if someone wants to steal it then they steal it virtually and i think we'll just have to like put sticky notes on each book of who has it at any given point in time because <laughs> i know i'm gonna forget what book I've stolen or whatever because I can't physically hold it. It might be a little bit crazy. We're also going to discuss um, where the no, not where the crowd dad sing. Uh, what is it called? It's by Jojo Moyes. We didn't get time to finish discussing it last time when we discussed America's First Daughter. Have you guys read that yet? I told you to go and read it. So I want everyone to leave me a comment down below if you have read um, America's First Daughter yet. Or have any interest in reading it and if you probably don't live in the United States you probably don't have any desire to read about our presidents and their daughters but it's a really good book I wish I had time to like ask you guys for book suggestions before tonight but I don't because this is going up next Tuesday <laughs> so that's I guess I'm gonna have to peruse my phone and try and find a book my, my dilemma is I've got Target and Fred Meyer to choose go and look at books for because I've already looked at Costco and I didn't really find anything but we lost our Barnes and Noble we lost our main bookstore here in town and I don't even like the next town over I don't even think they have a Barnes and Noble over there there's an Amazon bookstore at the mall and I am not no way I the mall is off limits this Christmas season so I'm in a little was it conundrum I gotta go find a book I'll be back all right so I struck out here at Fred Meyer on a book literally have like nothing but I'm gonna run over to Costco. I did get the, um, what do you call it? Candy. I did, get, I did get candy for the advent calendar and Doritos. Cause like, that's what happens when you go into a store when you didn't really need anything in the first place is you get things you don't need, right? All right, Costco did it. I found the book I wanted. Well, I didn't know I wanted it <laughs> until I got it. So it's called The Night Portrait. It's kind of crappy lighting right here. It's called The Night Portrait. It's about the the person who sat for Leonardo da Vinci when he was painting and, and then fast forward another time period where the portrait itself is in going between a Nazi, Nazi leader and museums and whatnot. Anyway, it looks like a really good book. And I have packages coming like all the time now and my kids are being good and they're not opening them. I'm very proud of them. I'm normally one to, I didn't turn off any of the Zoom call alerts. While I really like to shop in person, like I really like doing that. Um, it's, I don't like roaming stores and going from store to store right now, trying to find stuff like a book. It was easier with just one book because 
I could, you know, go in without a cart and, you know, all that kind of stuff. But finding like a million things for every different person, you know, for Christmas, I'm glad for Amazon. Thank you, Amazon Prime, Jason, <laughs> for letting me keep it. Let me open these packages. I think there's a few things that I ordered the last time I did an order for Amazon, I knew I knew, oh, Jason got a, a phone case. Let's see if we can find his. Okay, let's see what this one is. Can I show you what one of them is? Oh, that one got here fast. This gift, I can't show you what it is. It's for Ashley. It literally said it wasn't gonna get, it might not get here before the end of December. And it literally is here. What? Like, that's all that's in there? And then this one. This one is for Jason. I'm kind of nervous about opening this one because I kind of need this one to stay contained. Yeah. I don't know. I need this one to stay hidden from Jason. Yeah, it is. That's for Jason. Stick that out in my garage. And uh, I have 40 minutes until that Zoom call <laughs> with Chelsea's or with Ashley's teacher. I'm not going to miss it. So I'm going to go and relax. I never sat down with Netflix before. I went immediately out to try and find that book. So I'm going to go and watch Netflix for 25 minutes and then get on the computer and make sure I have the link ready to work. Oh, and I have to wrap that book. I'm going to gift wrap it in. Let's do that really quick. All right. So I've got this cute bag. I could just wrap the book, but I want to be able to unwrap it to show what book it is on the call, but then be able to still deliver it cute as a gift to the person who ends up getting the book. We will do a gift bag and we'll just put it into tissue paper because so then I can rewrap it. There, cute. I remember these bags are at the dollar store if you live in the US. That is done and I can unwrap it and then I can go and rewrap it and deliver it to whoever gets it. That's kind of fun. Hi. How are you doing? I'm good. How are you doing? I'm so sorry about this morning. <laughs> it's okay. No worries. I understand. I could very easily do that myself. I mean, I just like, I had it all ready to go. I had the link up on the screen and then I like went out, helped them and I came back and it's like, just click, just go do what you were doing before. And I just right. new screen up and I just started going and 45 minutes later, I was like, no, what am I doing? <laughs> I hope my kids don't realize I'm out here. Um, <laughs> I'm not really ready to go in at all. So I knew going to this drive-by Christmas party for the women at my church was just that. It was gonna be a drive-by and there were gonna be four or five ladies that are in charge and that we'd get a gift. And I'll show you all the little things that I got, including my hot chocolate, which I might start drinking now. I couldn't drink it before because I had my mask on. Oh, that's good. But I knew it was just that. I knew it was a drive-by. I knew we shouldn't get out and be in groups. I knew that I would only I would only be there for five minutes, if that, and that cars would line up behind me and I'd have to hurry and leave. I knew all of that, but let me see if I can get a light on in here. Maybe that's not <laughs> what I want. Um, there's like a little, and my face is done. Maybe we'll turn this off. And I, I knew that, and I wear my sweats. Like, I knew that that was the reality of what Christmas, you know, parties are gonna look like right now. They're gonna be virtual. They're gonna be like our Christmas exchange tonight, you know, for book club, it has to be virtual. And it's just, I, I went to the activity with this, I was very excited and I had fun music playing when I was driving over there. And I was very upbeat and I left like almost crying because it's like, you know, you start to realize, I can't do this activity, I can't do that one, I can't do that one, I can't do that one. And when it comes to Christmas, that's just so sad. You know, that I can still have Christmas 
like the feeling of Christmas in my own home and I can drive around town and we can see lights, which I think we're gonna have to do more often. I think we're gonna have to go back to like night driving <laughs> as our family activity because like we did at the beginning of quarantine. Um, Cause it's just sad to like know that, you know, there's no big parties to have and Chris family over for, you know, dinner or, yeah, it's just sad. And I, it just was upsetting. And I know that no one is doing it to you. It's just that, you know, I, I mentioned to the ladies when I saw them tonight, I was like, I just wish I could park my car and get out and like, you know, just stay and ha chat and hang out and I'll wear my mask. And it was very much like, okay, well, why don't you just circle around in your car and go through one more time then? It was definitely like a no, don't stay. <laughs> and I know that's not personal. It's just hard to like, I miss my friends and, you know, it's hard to only see people on the computer. And uh, that's just our world right now, right? You know? And that's, that's hard when you kind of just are stuck inside all the time. And I think it's also hard knowing that some people aren't, you know, some people aren't obeying. Some people are having family parties and they are having family over and friends over and they're all going out. You know, there's a jealousy to that, except that it's not okay to be doing right now. So I have like all these mixed emotions inside and I'm trying to like, I don't want to get upset. Like, cause it's just stupid too. Cause there's no, there's, there's no way around it. You know, it's just what our life is like right now, but I'm going to go do this virtual book club now. And well, that literally took me not even 20 minutes to go and do all that. 10 minutes to drive there, 10 minutes to drive home. And I got like one or two minutes of saying hi. So and my kids are all still awake and they don't have school tomorrow. Well, two of them don't have school. And I don't need to go to Target and I can't go wander around anywhere and... Oh. So I guess I'm going in. I guess that's my sign, right? So this is the cute gift that they made for us. A little ornament. It's really cute. I'm betting that's an actual piece of wood <laughs> from her house that she probably just chopped up. Um, it's a really cute ornament and it's totally my style. And then they gave us a little goodie bag. I wouldn't be surprised if they found sanitizer. <laughs> no, they didn't find any more sanitizer. Um, and a cute little, the decision to believe is the most important choice we ever make. And then hot cocoa. So that's kind of fun. Mm -hmm.